What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking Madden 18 and the excitement that you should be feeling right now. I don't know if it's nervous excitement um, or if you're really, really excited, but we're going to talk about it. We're looking at some of the Madden cover art right there on the right side as opposed to the Madden 17 cover art. Obviously, you can see uh, what is like a teal color um, for the new art that they're bringing in. The rookie premiere set, um, the ratings for these players, which are the dynamic ratings, they will change anywhere from August through January 2018, depending on how the players play in the preseason and also throughout the year. So um, if you have a favorite player, I don't know if you would go with the favorite player as opposed to a guy that is probably going to be doing the best so that you can have him upgraded for your team throughout the year. Uh, as far as Jalen Ramsey and uh, Eli Apple, Leonard Fournette throughout the year, they didn't really do as much as I thought they would do, but they served their purpose based on their traits uh, for Madden 17 for me. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about as far as the cards that I picked last year uh, in Madden 16 going into 17, check out my video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description so you can see exactly how you should go about uh, doing these rookie premiere sets for Madden 18. So look, pretty much right here, the new card art, you see it. I want to know what you guys are thinking about that new card art on the right as opposed to the Madden 17 card art on the left. Are, are they upgrading? Is it getting more exciting for you? Honestly, I just want to see some gameplay, which will be coming next week sometime. But as far as just being able to see what we're going to be dealing with, I'm going to show you exactly how you can know, based on your rookie premiere cards, what their overall rating will be in Madden 18. And it's simply right there on the sets. A lot of people don't pay attention to detail, but that's one of the basic things that you should do. Um, as far as mutt rewards, because a lot of people are saying, bro, how did you get all those um, you know, the, uh, rookie premiere items, the trade patches, so quickly? I got them because I'm a legendary status with mutt rewards. So what that means is that I signed up for mutt rewards, I've opened up over a thousand packs, so when they give me free cards, you know, uh, free cards, free promos, whatever it is, they're going to give me the max amount. So I'm going to show you right now, pretty much it's showing you exactly what you're going to need to do. Each rookie premiere player, the 99 overall that you get is going to cost you about a million, well, 800 to a million coins. If you want to snipe it like a psychopath, you probably could get it for a little bit less. But I'm not going to be trying to snipe right now for that long. So I paid the, you know, I, I paid the price of just playing the 10 solos to get the last rookie patch because I got nine just by opening packs, being legendary and getting a free starter pack. So that's why I haven't spent a million yet. What the plan is, I'm probably going to wait until I'm ready to give my team away. And whatever amount of coins I have left, I'll just splurge on whatever um, rookie NFL Premier player is left that I think I might, uh, you know, that I might need for Madden 18. But uh, other than that, you don't really need to do much. Like, see that you get one from the rookie Premier. Like, that's just a regular promo pack. Everybody should have, should have gotten that. It's just a way to get you started so you can buy packs. Pretty genius by EA Sports. You can't knock what EA Sports does because they're not forcing you to buy anything. They're just saying, yo, look, it's right here. You want it? And then most of us are going to go ahead and just drop the 20 drop the 40 even the $75, whatever it is, just to get yourself prepared, just like throughout the year uh, with the actual promo. So that was one. And then this one right here, the Gridiron Club Reward. Thank you for joining Mutt Rewards. This right here is going to give me eight. So I got the eight plus the free one for the starter pack. I got nine already to start. For every 10, you get a player. Are you with me still? I don't know if I did too much math for you real quick. I got eight plus one plus I need another one from doing the solos and then I have 10. So the, we're gonna look through right now, Leonard Fournette, you can see in the top right, 78 overall, 73, 68, OJ Howard, you know what I'm saying, 76, Deshaun Watson, 69, Miles Garrett, 78, Jamal Adams, 74, Lattimore, 75, um, you know, and, and it tells you what they're going to be at the start of the season. So there's no reason for you not to know. You know, 72 for TJ Watt, Jonathan Allen, 73. So now when you go back through it, you know what you're getting. If you saw my other video already, the one that I'll have linked in the description, you would know that I went with Lattimore. Now, I went with Lattimore because Lattimore is a big, big corner, and he's probably going to start for the Saints. So he may be able to get some run. All we can do is hope. You know what I'm saying? All we can do is hope. Like, yo, this dude got to be raw so that I didn't make a mistake. That's all we can really do. There's nothing else we can really do about it. You got to guess the best you can. And we don't know what these guys are going to do. And the NFL is a very, very tough and ridiculous sport. So you never know how long they're going to last. But I'm just going to go with defense because I'm, I'm thinking and hoping. Well, I'm not really hoping. I'm just I'm just trying to be optimistic that uh, EA Sports will do what's right and, and focus a little bit more on defense because we should be able to have defensive user control. And the way that they're changing up 
offensively from what I'm hearing as far as not being able to control your receiver and you, and you know you got the target passing trait and all the kind of stuff that's going on you're gonna have to probably figure that usually because of the last two years they either give you one or the other so if they're taken away from the offense more than likely the defense is gonna be OP in my opinion because I, I just don't think that they understand that you can do both you know what I'm saying so maybe it may turn out to be that way so this is the rookie premiere set when you look at it 10 solos okay the final solo is going to give you one um, collectible. So with me being legendary status, I'm going to do the solos, and, I, and that's how I got my card. All right, that's how I got my 10 patches. So now with my 10 patches, I'm good to go. I don't have any other issue. You know what I'm saying? So right now, we're just going to talk about some of these other things as we play against this guy. He has a decent team. That Mike Evans ultimate ticket, I didn't feel an urge to get him because, you know, I already have Randy Moss. I got Terrell Pryor. I got... Um, Demarius Thomas, all ultimate tickets. I didn't really feel it was necessary to go ahead and get that, but I do. I did pick up the um, the left outside linebacker, Sean Taylor. And uh, with Sean Taylor, the ultimate ticket, he goes to a 99 speed, but um, you know he's 6'2", obviously, and I did have the ultimate ticket bar. So we're just trying to figure out right now, as far as my stream goes, what we're going to be doing. But if you want to be a part of my stream and come in there, you know, and you know, rock the GMI's World gloves. Uh, I, what did I say? Gloves? Globes. It sounded like it could be pronounced the same way, but yeah. I might have had too much alcohol last night. Um, yeah, you go ahead and sub to me on Twitch and go ahead and grab that globe and go ahead and flaunt it right fast and you can watch us live. So you go ahead and click that heart right now. Go to twitch.com. No, twitch.tv, right? Twitch.tv back uh, forward slash gmyersworld and go ahead and click that heart. You'll get an alert when I go live and then we'll go from there. Um, but other than that, let's talk some Madden 18 gameplay. Now we know that it's um, very, very close to being here and we still have yet to see anything officially released from EA um, that's a very very smart business move by EA Sports and like I said it's worked in the past for them I don't know why people are acting like this is the first time that they've done this like they've done this a lot um, you know as far as uh, like Madden 10 remember when they changed it and put the refs in from 09 to 10 uh, I know that the Twitter as far as Twitter and social media we've actually uh, you know come a long way uh, as far as that goes and a lot of things come out but we all know what the premise is going to be. It's no way you can expect them to fix everything that was wrong with 17. And I think that most people that even work at EA Sports would admit that 17 turned out to be, you know, they got, they got lucky because uh, they did a lot of live events and it didn't go as bad as, they, as it could have as far as gameplay goes. But people were able to see that there were definitely things that were um, extremely wrong with the game. And now that we've played, we've been playing it for all year, like, you know, per me personally, I don't know how it's gotten so bad and they haven't patched it since well, forever. Um, I, I don't know if the patch that they did just made it so unstable that it gives you a different, um, it gives you a different experience every time you play it. And it's a very, very fun experience. It's very, very exciting for the stream. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. But at the end of the day, we have to do better. Um, you know, we do as YouTubers. Um, EA Sports has to do better uh, as far as what that, what they're putting out there for human consumption. And we just have to figure out a way to make it so that the ball doesn't go through people's bodies. Because that, that never used to be an issue. I can remember playing on PS, like the regular PlayStation. Um, playing regular, um, like NBA Live, whatever it was. It wasn't a lot of these things going on. And you would think that as the game becomes more advanced and you get more, um, you know, more technology, it would become easier to get the right things out of the game. But it hasn't been the case. And you people, oh, bro, 2K license or something. I, I can see why you would say that because competition always breeds more um, efficiency and, and better product. I agree with that. There shouldn't be a monopoly the way that EA Sports has the exclusive license to the NFL. But we have to be honest about it. Have you played 2K, NBA 2K lately? That game is a total joke. And it never used to be like that. So as far as that goes, and keep in mind, they actually made EA Sports stop making NBA Live for a while. But, you know, Live is back now. And I might pick Live up because I'm liking what I'm seeing, except for like some of the um, plays where the guy is shooting backwards and the ball's going into the hoop. You know, other than that, I've been seeing some plays, you know, some, well, graphical and um, gameplay that... That, you know, they're doing better as far as live goes. So I wouldn't be surprised if live is, you know, able to compete a little bit uh, more with 2K. Obviously with the park uh, career, 2K has taken off and people just play it. The same way people just play Madden. 
And those same players know the game is disgusting, but they play it anyway because you're addicted. And that's just the way it is. So when we speak about Madden 18 gameplay, we know what's coming. It, it's a chance that it's gonna be a very, very wild experience that's gonna happen. It's a very, very high chance that that's gonna happen, but is that gonna stop people from making YouTube videos on it? No. Is that gonna stop people from streaming it? No. So regardless, they have full control of, over what we're gonna do because what are you gonna do? Gonna go to NBA 2K? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the worst of two evils. So all you can, all we can do is just wait to see what's going on. But like I said, honestly, I don't even know if I wanna watch any of the gameplay because I don't wanna get discouraged from getting the game because I've already seen um, with previews and, um, you know, with the actual trailer, there's a lot of animations. It's a, it's a pre-filled animation game. And it never used to be overwhelming like that. And it's become something like that. And it's not a good look. As we swerve this guy's panties off, you know, we close this game out. You know, Madden 18 gameplay is going to be very, very interesting for a lot of people. And I'm one of those guys. And I'm going to let you guys know exactly what I'm feeling about it once it's released. So, you know, definitely check me out. Subscribe, like the video. See you guys and girls next time. One love.